Scientists have noticed some unusual signals from the solar system that's closest to ours. It turns out that the signal is from the system's planet, Proxima b. The artificial lights have left the brightest minds in space research scratching their heads. But what exactly are these lights? Could this be the missing piece of the puzzle in our search for intelligent life? Could this be an entire civilization right next door? Join us as we unveil the mystery of the artificial lights on Proxima b. In late 2020, a signal was discovered from the direction of Proxima Centauri, our closest neighbor star just four light years away. The signal is still being carefully analyzed by a team of experts to be sure it is not just an echo of our own civilization, which is typically what they usually turn out to be. So let's look directly at planets in Proxima Centauri and see if there are intelligent life forms in the solar system. From space, the most obvious sign that Earth is inhabited by intelligent life is the glow from the night side of our planet. Our cities emit light that is observable from space, but that's where we have a problem. Our current generation of telescopes is not powerful enough to see the lights on distant worlds. Researchers are testing the capabilities of the next generation of telescopes already on the drawing board. A few decades and $10 billion later, the James Webb Telescope was born. This telescope is sophisticated enough to even see back in time as far as 50 million years before the Big Bang. Compared to our 13.8 billion year history, that's a lot. But noticing a speckle of light on an exoplanet is currently near impossible. If the planet glows enough, we would be able to see if another civilization has its lights on right at the dark side of the planet. The possibility of techno signatures from Alpha Centauri has kickstarted a new study on the detectability of artificial lights on Proxima Centauri b. From what we already know, the planet checks several boxes that makes it a likely candidate for having intelligent life. It is in the habitable zone of its star, making it a world we can hope to learn a great deal more about with new instruments, especially the James Webb Space Telescope. New studies also point to Louvois, or Large UV Optical IR Surveyor, a multi-wavelength space-based observatory with a possible launch in 2035. The authors, Elisa Tabor and Avi Loeb of Harvard, point out that a tidally locked planet like Proxima b would need artificial lighting to support a technological culture coincident for civilizations to develop around neighboring stars. A tidally locked planet is one that has one side permanently facing the sun, leaving the other side in perpetual darkness. Since we have received an unusual signal from this very planet, it is not an unreasonable proposition. There are several ways to tell alien technology exists on another planet. For example, we may be able to see the light of a distant world waver with a massive constellation of satellites. You know, the same stuff that's happening on Earth as well with the increasing number of satellites that we push out into orbit. Atmospheric pollution may be detectable from nuclear conflict, while these indicators of technology could also be caused by natural phenomena, like orbiting debris or a comet impact, artificial illumination is distinct from the natural light of stars. The researchers, Tabor and Loeb, used the long-range high-resolution imagery of the Webb Telescope for alien light-hunting test drive in 2021. But since the telescope was not fully operational at the time, the results were a bit shabby. The Webb telescope is trained on Proxima b, the one confirmed planet in the Proxima Centauri system 4.25 light years away and could presumably host a civilization since the planet is located in the habitable zone of its star. Proxima b is a rocky world right in the habitable zone of the M-class red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. That's just a mere 12% of the mass of our sun. Proxima b, on the other hand, is more massive than our planet, 
at about 1.6 Earth masses and 1.3 times our radius. It orbits Proxima Centauri in just 11.2 days, covering the distance of just 7 million kilometers. That's less than 5% of the distance at which Earth orbits the Sun. Tabor and Loeb scaled artificial illumination reflecting from the day side of our planet. On a scale of 0 to 100%, 0% means the night side of the planet is completely dark, and 100% means the night side of the planet is as equally bright as the day side. But that's not a possibility in the case of Proxima Centauri, because the type of light used by the hypothetical civilization on Proxima b is assumed to be similar to LEDs on Earth, which have distinct artificial characteristics. So how much light has been discovered so far? What do they reveal? Well, if the artificial night side illumination of Proxima b reaches 5% of the natural day side illumination, the Webb telescope could detect the artificial illumination with 85% certainty. But if it were to reach 9%, Webb's detection rate would rise to 95%. You might be thinking 5% illumination doesn't sound like much but we are talking about the light from a star as faint as Proxima Centauri that's 20 times dimmer than our sun. That's almost like placing a lighted candle next to floodlights. But even that much at a cosmic level is still a lot of light. By comparison, Earth's artificial illumination is only 0.001% of reflected solar illumination. In other words, if Proxima b hosts a civilization as lit up as us, the Webb telescope wouldn't be able to detect it. Those lights would need to be 5,000 times brighter for that scenario to be plausible. Proxima b orbits so closely to its host star that it has become tidally locked. It is the dark half of the planet that is most likely to host intelligent life. For that to be possible, it must have really invested in its lighting infrastructure. Another hypothesis is that very bright orbital mirrors could be used to reflect light onto the night side of the planet. If this were so, it would be seen by our telescopes. Tabor and Loeb's research indicates that other future telescopes such as Louvois or Large UV Optical Infrared Surveyor may be even more capable than the Webb telescope at spotting the glow of a distant civilization. Maybe we wouldn't need 5% of dayside illumination to detect with near perfect accuracy. Just a few days after Tabor and Loeb's research were published, Thomas Beatty of the Department of Astronomy at the University of Tucson justified that with those numbers, Beatty reviewed both Louvois as well as HabEx or Habitable Exoplanets Observatory to understand how these telescopes will detect city lights not only on Proxima b, but also on planets orbiting stars out to a distance of 30 parsecs, or pc. One pc is about 3.26 light years. Both Louvois and Havix have missions to catalog and directly image exoplanets that are scheduled to launch in 2035. So there's a long way to go before that. Beatty used virtual Louvois and Havix observatories on several star systems with known worlds like Proxima b, as well as hypothetical Earth-like worlds orbiting G, K, and M-class stars. Beatty also created a percentage of the planetary surface which was urbanized. The more urbanization, the brighter the planet's night side. The type of natural illumination in this model simulates the most common lights on Earth's high-pressure sodium streetlights, reflecting off concrete surfaces which also feature a spectrum, distinguishable from natural starlight. So the variables are 1. The distance from the Earth, 2. The planet's level of urbanization, and finally, the type of star the planet is orbiting in each scenario. The virtual scopes are imaging for a minimum of 100 hours to collect enough light streaming through the void to resolve the target. The Earth's surface is only about 0.05% urbanized. Our telescopes wouldn't be able to see us if they were peering from Proxima Centauri. A greater percentage of urbanization could help us see a distant civilization more clearly, like, say, 100%. 
But what exactly is 100% urbanization? You can call it an ecumenopolis. This is a city planet where the entire surface is covered in one giant city. It might seem like a nerdy sci-fi concept, but it is probable that an advanced civilization could completely encase their world in an unending urban landscape. A planet like this will pose no problem for even our current telescopes to detect. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think of the artificial lights of Proxima b? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing content. See you on the next one. Bye for now.